Hey folks, pleased to be joined by my guest today, Darla Hoff, Director of Agriculture for Advanced Drainage Systems. Darla, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Well, I'm doing well, and I'm always excited to talk to you guys with ADS. You're always pushing the envelope out there in different ways. And gosh, I understand uh, you guys have been developing kind of a industry first trailer to address some uh, some ongoing uh, issues um, for driver safety. And can, can you tell us about this new trailer that you guys have developed, Darla? Of course. Um, so a lot of things that we focus on at ADS are gonna be safety, quality, and sustainability. Um, and from a safety perspective, I didn't realize even when I joined ADS that unloading maxi coils in the field for our drivers is a fairly rigorous activity. Um, and so, part of our operations team and logistics team decided to take it upon themselves to see about developing a way to increase that safety and at the same time figure out something that when these maxi coils are coming off the truck, they don't they don't get damaged and they don't turn into runaway coils. And so anybody familiar with the drainage industry will knows how much of a pain a runaway coil can be if the wind catches it and sends it across the road, you know, because those things aren't light. They're about a thousand pounds a piece. Um, and so this trailer essentially has a dovetail hydraulic system to where all the driver has to do is push a button and it it will you know tilt it from the back of the of the um, trailer and then slide the coils off of the trailer versus them rolling which mm. keeps them together make sure that make sure that they're dropped in the right spot in the field mm. um, and is obviously keeping our drivers from having to do any manual labor from an unloading perspective wow so kind of changing the game there uh based on a, just an ongoing problem that, that's been in the industry. I, uh, and I understand a lot of your drivers have been with ADS for a long time. Obviously, you guys are a great company, treat yes. your employees well, and just want to care for your, uh, your driver employees there. Of course. And, so you know, it takes a minute for the, the learning curve in the sense of they've been here. A lot of our drivers have been with us for a very long time, and you get used to doing something a certain way. So... Um, but the more that they've worked with it, the more that they've enjoyed it, because it does make their job easier and then um, makes dropping those loads in the fields that much more uh, efficient and safe for them, as well as the location being where the farmers actually want it and not having to worry about any space between the rolls or anything like that. So you guys with ADS, do you have any name for this, uh, this automated uh, trailer that you, you developed, Darla? It's actually a great question. We are in the process of naming it because calling it the agriculture automated trailer is um, quite a mouthful. Um, and so Trail King helped us with this design. It's actually their design based off of our request. And so we're working with them on what we want to name it for it to be identified in the market so that both of us from a uh, not only an ADS side, but also from a Trail King perspective can make sure that we're utilizing it as best we can in the industry. Well, working with Trail King, great company there. Uh... Uh, two great companies getting together, ADS and Trail King. That's exciting. Now, you mentioned earlier that uh, you, you've had uh, some training going on with your drivers. Uh, is that That's up at your Eagle Grove, Iowa plant, I understand? It is. We are, So we've had two prototypes of the trailer come out, and um, Eagle Grove is kind of where we decided between Eagle Grove and our Fairmont plant to do a lot of the training and then disperse it from there to our other agriculture plants. Um, right now we've committed to do seven to 10 trailers a year, just because obviously manpower and product to get these things created. And our hope is that, um, every single one of our slope deck trailers over the next five to seven years will be replaced with these types of trailers for ease of use in the field. Wow. What, what kind of early feedback are you getting from your drivers who are undergoing the, uh, the train? Well, I'm sure they must be excited about the new capabilities of the trailer. Right. They're going from having to you know, throw a strap through a hole to pushing a button. So um, they're, the, the ease of use for their shoulders and their backs is definitely, definitely welcome, I would say, from, from that group of folks. Wow. That's, uh, I imagine that's exciting uh, for them. Now, what plans do you guys have long-term, uh, Darla, with ADS there to, uh, in regards to this uh, automated uh, trailer? Well, once we get them all um, produced in the agriculture market, they're considering not only using it in agriculture, but also in our commercial business, um, but that it, that time will tell on, you know, how things develop with the prototypes because 
every year they seem to be discovering something new that we can add to it. So um, it'll be interesting to see how much more technology that they'll figure out to put on those trucks. Mm, okay. Well, I know, as you mentioned before, Darla, safety, sustainability, and quality kind of hallmarks of ADS and the amazing business that you guys have. Now, I understand on the sustainability sustainability front that uh, you guys had a very significant uh, mile post uh, that you just earned here. Can you uh, tell us about that? Absolutely. So ADS this year uh, just became, according to Plastics News, which is where we get a lot of our news, um, we are now the number one uh, plastics recycler in North America. So we recycle more plastic than any other company in North America. Wow. Well, well, hats off to you, to you folks at ADS thinking holistically, not just for the uh, short term, the profit, but again, for your employees developing this uh, amazing automated truck. And then also, you know, just for the, the world we live in and agriculture to, to recycle like that sustainability, not just lip service with ADS, is it? No, it's not. And this this feat was pretty, you know, a pretty large one for us because I don't know if any of us really expected it, it to be happening this year. Um, we increased our um, use of recycled materials by 30 percent. Um, we use 647 million pounds of recycled plastic a year. And in 2021, um, our pur- when we're purchasing our resin, over half of it was recycled. So we're we are consistently increasing the amount of recycled product that that we are purchasing, even in an environment where sometimes virgin resin, from a cost perspective, re- recycled obviously is becoming more popular. So of course, price is going to go up with that. It's like, you know, Econ 101. Um, but that's obviously not going to change our direction or our messaging on what we're trying to do. So we're able to be sustainable. We're able to help the environment without giving up any type of quality, meeting the same um, standards that you would in any other in any other industry that you have to with some resin capability. Well, again, hats off, Darla, for ADS, the way you guys roll there. Uh, fantastic stuff. And I'm just curious a little bit now, I get a little bit focused on the machinery end of things, and I've seen yeah. uh, the incredible demand with new and used equipment, farmers being aggressive, investing in their operations. Just curious on the you know, on the drainage side, uh, I'm guessing you guys have been rather busy, Darla, here in uh, 2022. Absolutely. Um, this has been the demand for drainage water management um since especially since i've joined um i joined ads in 2018 has really gone through the roof you know and and our ultimate goal at ads is to make sure that we're helping farmers increase their yields number one um increase their farmable acres and you know help them protect that critical investment that they're making in their land because without farm families being able to continue to farm um what are we all doing here right and so We've seen a tremendous uptick in demand. We've grown our agricultural business over $90 million. We're definitely blessed to, to be doing that because farmers are obviously seeing how that investment can help them. And in this year, in 2022, especially with everything that we're seeing from an inflation perspective, from a supply chain perspective, from a labor perspective, from a mother nature perspective, I mean, these guys are dealing with a lot in the field. And so um, it's nice to be part of a solution that can help in many different facets versus just in one area. Um, I, I even continue to learn how much from a water, how much being able to manage water on a farm contributes to every other aspect of what that farmer is doing in a day-to-day planning season. Yeah, it's, it's definitely over the, I've been at this 32 and a half years and it's, uh, it's just rising to the, to the fore of importance. So again, um, ADS, you guys are right involved with it. Again, uh, thank you, Darla, for the update on your automatic uh, trailer. That is fantastic, innovating, uh, continuing to innovate. And uh, if folks want more information about uh, you know anything that you guys are doing there with ADS, your website, Darla, it's adspipe.com. It is, no more dash. Even though if you use the dash, you'll still get there. But yes, okay. adspipe.com is definitely where you want to go. Well, folks, do that. Uh, Go to adspipe.com. Check out Advantage Drainage Systems. They're doing fantastic things. Darrell, thanks again so much for the update. And uh, I'm excited to get some video on this automated trailer. That's uh, fantastic what you guys, the reasons you're doing it and executing a a product to keep your folks safe and uh, just fantastic stuff. Thanks for having me.